All right, now we're going to work an example uh, that says form a polynomial whose zeros and degree are given. So we're given that we have zeros at negative 2, 2, and 3. These are x-intercepts. So another way of saying this is that we have an x value of negative 2, an x value of 2, and an x value of 3. Now they also say that this is a degree 3 polynomial, which means that if we looked at the equation itself, that we would be looking at something that says x cubed and then blah, blah, blah. Generally, whenever we see an x cubed equation and we go through and solve it, we're going to have three answers. So these are, you know, kind of backing each other up. If we have three answers, we should have a degree 3 polynomial, hopefully. Okay, so let's see how we form the polynomial. We need, first of all, let's move this over to the same side as the x. So we'll have x plus 2 equals 0. And repeating the process with the next two, we'll have x minus 2 equals 0. And then x minus 3 equals 0. Well, now if each one of these things equals 0, then when I multiply them together, they must also equal 0. 0 times anything is still 0. Now because these are x-intercepts or zeros, that's why it's equal to 0. But that technically is a y-value, and because we're working with functions, we should write it as f of x. So I could write this as f of x equals x plus 2 times x minus 2 times x minus 3. And this would be a function that would have those x-intercepts. If I were to multiply this all out, then I would in fact have an x cubed as my highest power of x. x times x times x would be x cubed. So that double checks itself. Okay, for the next one though, we have uh, something a little bit odd. Here it says we have zeros of negative 2 with multiplicity 2. This is telling us how many times this zero happens. So what it's saying is that we have an x value of negative 2 and also an x value of negative 2. It happens twice. And then we have a zero of 4 multiplicity 1. That means that we've got an x value of 4 that happens only one time. And because this is a degree 3 polynomial, this checks out. We should have three answers. So if I go to multiply, uh, to create, rather, the polynomial, I'm first of all going to move over to the same side as the x, the coefficient, or the constant term. So this would be x plus 2 equals 0, x plus 2 equals 0, and x minus 4 equals 0. And again, if these all multiply together to be the same thing, um, to be 0, then that's because each one of them was 0. When we multiply them together, they will also be 0. So x plus 2 times x plus 2 times x minus 4 would have to be 0 also. And then just like we did before, because this is function, let's write it using function notation. And another thing I'm going to do is when we multiply something to itself, we can write that more compactly as squared. So I'm going to write that a little bit better. This is a wonderful version of that polynomial that has those zeros that we already identified. Now I want you to notice that in this, since we had a square here, this also tells us our multiplicity. It means that this zero happens this many times. That is the multiplicity.